How to assemble the Human Touch Certus Massage Chair. Raise the chair to the upright position by plugging the power cord into the rear of the chair and then into a grounded wall outlet. Turn the power switch on the back of the chair to on. The chair should automatically incline to the upright position. Once it has stopped moving, power off the chair and unplug it. To install the tablet, match the pins on the end of the tablet cable with the corresponding holes in the socket on the left hand side of the chair frame. Then insert the connector into the socket. Turn the connector clockwise until it is tight to secure the cable. To install the body pad, Lift the side of the body pad to expose the back rest pad fitting. Then connect the white hose to the fitting. Push firmly to secure. Connect the purple hose to the seat pad fitting, pushing firmly to secure. Locate the black heat cable on the chair frame and slide the protective casing down to expose the connector. Insert into the corresponding cable from the seat pad. Then slide the protective casing over the connection to secure. Repeat to attach the hoses on the right hand side of the body pad. Zip both sides of the body pad to the chair from top to bottom. Then, zip the body pad to the chair, keeping the knee cushion and outer zipper exposed. To install the side panels, use a manual Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws and washers from the front of each side of the chair frame. There are five mounting points to install the side panel to the chair frame. Let's start with the left hand side panel. Line up the horseshoe bracket with the post. Then, while applying pressure to the panel, slide the bracket into the post to attach. Rotate the panel downward to attach the two clips into the rear shroud and continue rotating to insert the black tab into the slot while inserting the rear white mount into the upper bracket. Check to make sure the two side panel hoses are accessible. Push down on the front of the side panel to insert the front mount into the lower bracket. The back of the panel should be flush against the cowl. Replace the screw and washer previously removed to secure the side panel to the chair. Then connect the two hoses by color to their corresponding fittings. Position the tablet cable so it runs next to the side panel toward the front of the chair. Then press the upholstered flap down over the cable connectors to secure the hook and loop fastener onto the seat. Repeat to install the other side panel. Line up the horseshoe bracket with the post. Then, while applying pressure to the panel, slide the bracket into the post to attach. Rotate the panel downward to attach the two clips into the rear shroud 
and continue rotating to insert the black tab into the slot while inserting the rear white mount into the upper bracket, making sure the hoses and connectors are accessible. Push down on the front of the side panel to insert the front mount into the lower bracket. Replace the screw and washer previously removed to secure the side panel to the chair. After connecting the hoses, connect the three connectors by size to their corresponding connectors on the chair. Press the upholstered flap down onto the seat to secure it over the cable connections. To install the foot and calf massager, use a manual Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws and washers from the mounting brackets on the chair. Place the massager into position, close enough for the connectors to easily reach the chair. With the connector tab facing toward you, connect the chair. Then connect the air hose to the chair, pushing up firmly to ensure it is fully inserted. Flip the two mounting brackets up. Slide the two massager mounting posts into the brackets on the chair. The brackets on the chair flip forward to secure the posts. Replace the two Phillips head screws and washers you previously removed. Press the upholstered flap downward to secure it to the body pad using the hook and loop fasteners. Zip the foot and calf massager upholstery to the body pad. And finally, to install the tablet holder, match the shape of the tablet holder post to the socket with the flat side of the post facing forward, then insert the post into the socket. Place the tablet onto the holder with the cord centered in the bracket. 